hello and welcome back to the new video of the JUnit tutorial series so in this video we will be seeing how we can install the J, uh, JUnit and in our Eclipse IDE and uh, how, how we can set up our Eclipse IDE and start using JUnit inside your Eclipse IDE right so first of all we need to uh, download the Eclipse IDE and JUnit okay so for that you will just need to go inside your Chrome uh, open up the new tab and write uh, download Eclipse for Windows 11 or the any Windows that you are having uh, so you first uh, the official page from eclipse.org comes and just click on that and just uh, get Eclipse IDE 2023 uh, 03 this is the version that we required click on the download x86 underscore 64 and just you need to uh, press this download button and after that uh, it will get automatically downloaded yeah so it is 122 MB uh, size Eclipse IDE setup so you just need to download this setup uh, it uh, it will take uh, time uh, depending upon your internet speed if it is good then it should get uh, downloaded uh, pretty quick okay so uh, after downloading this setup uh, just uh, let the setup be finished okay uh, by the time uh, just uh, uh, if you are liking this series uh, do hit that like button and sub consider subscribing our channel as well and put down your comment if you have any doubts okay so uh, my uh, setup has been downloaded just click on that setup file okay uh, so wait for some minute let the setup run okay okay the eclipse installer by uh, this company okay wait for a minute okay so eclipse installer is there so uh, we have uh, a lot, lot of options that uh, eclipse uh, provides us you can choose whatever uh, environment that you are going to set up uh, but uh, we are learning the JUnit for that we just need to Eclipse IDE for the Java developer so we will click on that one and just click on install and your Eclipse IDE will get installed on your PC right so uh, I, I will not install it again I have one uh, setup installed already just you need to click on this install button and your IDE will be installed okay just after installation just come here and uh, just open this Eclipse IDE for Java developers and your Eclipse IDE will get opened and it will first ask you for the workspace and where, where you want to uh, store the files project files yeah, you just you can browse and you can select uh, any path location there where you want to store your project right so I, I will keep it as default and I will click on the launch and my uh, Eclipse ID is starting okay uh, wait for some minute let it get load okay uh, so uh, uh, this is uh, my previous project so I will just ignore this and what I will be doing is uh, I will tell you how you can create a new project right so you have to click on the file click on new and click on Java project you can also create your Maven project as well uh, over here so we will be creating our Java project uh, just uh, name your project whatever you want uh, I will just name it as a demo and the java version that you, you wanted to use in uh, in this project uh, you can select uh, that one as well and i will just uh, uh, what else we have to do okay so the demo v okay so click on finish uh, it will create your new project okay so you, over here you can see demo v our project has been created just click on that uh, just click on src and this is the class okay so this is the java system library uh, that is java 19 that we are using and after that you can just click on the right click on the src new class and uh, using this you can uh, name your class like uh, anything that you want uh, demo here maybe okay and just uh, go ahead and uh, finish this and uh, one java class will be uh, created over here okay so now the re rest of the thing will be same uh, if you want to create any uh, method over here and if you want to test that method inside your uh, this 
here uh, then in that case uh, you should first add the j unit 4 or j unit 5 whatever you are using just you have to add the dependency for that right and just this is the j unit 4 dependencies or the uh, files that we require uh, just you need to uh, copy that uh, in your project and after that you can start using your uh, your uh, J unit features and to write your test cases and uh, test your uh, code right so this is how uh, you can install uh, the eclipse id and set up your uh, eclipse id for working with uh, J unit right so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one